Hello, this is Rich Merritt with Digital Combustion and today's tutorial is going to be on linking a layer to an external web page. And in particular, we're going to link this to an external web page on a Google Street View map. And so that could be actually pretty handy for your simulations so you can uh, have your user click on a map, it'll bring up the Street View and they can actually explore that part of the uh, street to uh, take a look at different things that uh, you might find on that street so it gives them a better overview of the building they're looking at so I've already built a just a quick simulation here we've got a pretty good fire going in a small industrial complex and you can see here I've got this small little Google icon that I've made and what I want to do is make it so that when they click on that it's going to take them to an external web page and that's a new feature uh, found only in Fire Studio 6.0, so we're pretty excited about it, and people are just now starting to discover uh, different things that you can do with it. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Edit button here, and that's going to bring up my uh, event panel here when I click on it, and I need to enable the event. So I'm going to click this checkbox here, and enable, and then it says an event enabled, and then you can see this box in particular here. We're going to look at it. it says mouse click opens link, and so when I click on that. It, uh, it allows me to paste a web link there. So I'm going to go ahead and, and open up my browser here. And I've already pulled this up on Google Street View. So I've got this same building uh, open on Google Street View. And if you come up here to this uh, web address, uh, that web address on a Google Street View saves all the camera location of what you're looking at. So the angle and the, ex the exact placement of that camera is all within this web link. So I'm going to go ahead and just right click on it and I'm going to click copy. And then I'm going to go back to Fire Studio and I'm just going to hit paste web link. And so you can see here it put that big long web link in here and so that's what that's going to do is, is tell Fire Studio when they click on that it's going to open whatever the default browser is and it's going to open it directly to that page so I'm going to go ahead and click finish editing and we'll go into presentation mode and there's my simulation so now uh, right now we just have this single view but if you want to give them a little bit more information on that street they can click on this and that's going to go ahead and take them to this Google Street View and so now we can take a look up and down that street and see what's on the street where can we place rigs uh, are there any access problems we can move around take a look at the back of the building and see if there's any uh, access issues or can we pull around the back or is there is there any different things that we can see we can also look across the street we can up, look up and down around to see if there's any wires or anything that maybe we're not seeing in that simulation so it just gives you another uh, tool that they can use to give them a much better view of what it is that they're looking at you know specifically if this was a either a training or a testing situation it gives them a lot of, lot more information that they're able to to gather as far as making their decisions on on what it is that they would want to do so um, pretty powerful tool I'm gonna go back to fire studio and now you can see so we can go ahead and continue that simulation now that they've got a much better view of what's going on on that so uh, that linking uh, layer to a web page is is pretty powerful like I said before and you can do a lot of different things with it I mean that that can go to an external web page that maybe has a MSDS sheet on some chemicals that you want to look at maybe a PDF file um, maybe you have an online test on on a on a web page somewhere so you can you can actually link those things directly to pull up an external web page um, on your default browser so uh, exciting new tool with Digital Combustion's Fire Studio 6.0. And that concludes this short tutorial. You can always go to our website at digitalcombustion.com. There's more tutorials there, and you can get a lot more information. And also, some uh, if you need to contact us or you have a tutorial request, you can always uh, send it through our website. So I'm Rich Merritt with Digital Combustion, and look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.